so my my story is a little different. I, well, and I keep saying that, but everyone's story is different. That's that's been the amazing thing about this group is um, when you begin to hear everyone's stories, and then you begin to realize that people don't behave the way that that we're taught they should behave. That people are people, and, and behavior is unpredictable, and there's a lot of factors that come in. So, um, but I, I'm I digress. I'll move. I'll move back to the question. So, I um, I actually had suspicions growing up, and you'll hear a lot of MPEs say that that they felt like something was off, and um, but I really wasn't. I I didn't really know this was it, but I I I, I had an idea. So there were jokes about that I was adopted. Um, where I would ask my mother growing up, um, are you sure I'm not adopted? And it was always done in a joking manner and there was always a circumstance behind it. So it wasn't like I was really in tune what was going on, but my intuition was, was talking to me. I just didn't realize that's what it was. Um, in 2005, I had lunch with my, uh, father and, um, I was, I was going through a crisis, which, um, I don't want to get into today, but I'd love to get into sometime um, with with the both of you. But so uh, during this this lunch with my father, it actually turned into a four hour lunch, a four hour meeting. Um, that meeting is so impersonal. It was a my father and I connected on a level we had never connected on before during this this lunch. Um, but during this conversation, he told me that he had had suspicions that he was not my biological father. And you, yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot of conflicting emotions with that, right? I mean, first of all, he just dropped a bombshell that changes everything, but he's the one that told me and that he had suspicions. So then there's that element, you know, trying to work in, this is my father and we just, we just connected on a level we hadn't connected before. Um, now he's telling me he's not my father and, uh, um, and, but then I'd always known. So I'm like, well, I'm really not surprised because I, I so it was just a whirl, a whirlwind of information. And, um, I was dealing with a lot of personal stuff at the time that was, was in itself life changing. And, um, so it was just another piece of information to roll into what was going on, but it, it, with what I was going through at the time, if you can believe this, it wasn't nearly, it, it, it wasn't up there on the important scale. It didn't rank with things I, I needed to deal with at the time. Um, yeah, so uh, he actually agreed to a DNA test and, and really suggested it. You know, he said um, there's a lot of, and this was 15 years ago, so there was a lot of medical reasons, you know, because of medical history and that kind of thing. It really wasn't so much, uh, my, my father was also adopted and he didn't have anything to do with his biological family, even though he knew, he knew who they were. His, his, my grandmother, his mother remarried and, and uh, my grandfather adopted him. So it went, I don't think it was anything about the connection of, of finding my family, but he supported the fact that I should know from a medical standpoint, a historical standpoint, the truth and, and who it was. Um, but be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it really began to show me who he was. I had never really gotten a chance because we weren't close. Um, and he was dealing with, with fighting his own battles in life while I was growing up. And I was the first glimpse of what, uh, what an amazing person he truly is. So, um, for that reason, um, and some other reasons, uh, I, decided not to do an a, a DNA test for the simple fact that he said that he would, I didn't want to. And I know that may not make sense to a lot of people, but I felt like it was, it was the respectful thing to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, on the flip side of that, I look back at it now. I mean, there's a lot of different, I have a lot of different opinions about that now, but obviously hindsight's 2020 and experience changes your viewpoint. Um, he probably also from, and, from a, 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 a personal standpoint, he probably wanted the confirmation himself. So it might have been a little bit of a, a passive way um, to get that. Like, hey, I'll support you, but I, I'd like to know too. I, I, didn't, I didn't think about that at the time. 
um, there, there was so much going on. Right. The, the interesting thing is, is that, um, is that now it, it's so glaringly obvious, you know, right? I don't, I don't we look nothing alike. Um, he's six foot, uh, dark hair, brown eyes. He's a bowler and a mechanic and, and, uh, I'm six foot five and blonde hair, and blue eyes. And I was an athlete and a musician, like, right. But I mean, we, we couldn't have, we, Growing up, we always struggled to find something in common, which negatively affected my childhood because I, you know, as a child, you want to you you want to emulate the people that inspire you the most, and um, I didn't I didn't have that I didn't have any of the same interests he did, and now it makes sense. So it's as an adult, it's really settled all that, and uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, but this whole thing has really brought he and I uh, a lot closer, and. In, in a strange twist of irony here. So I didn't, um, when I was looking at the results, I, the additional information that they gave me was um, DNA connections with other people who had taken, also taken the DNA test and, and it tells you the probable relationship that, that you have with this person. And so the the top the top three or four were people with last names I'd never heard of in my entire life. I don't I had no idea where they came from, and I thought I was like, well, that that's odd. And you know, I thought, well, maybe they're part of my mom's family, and because you know they they're all from Virginia and North Carolina, and and I thought, well, maybe there's people I didn't know, but it, it wasn't making. But I was trying to make it fit, um, you know, in that tunnel vision thing. It, I just thought, well, these pieces have to go together somehow, and they just they weren't, they weren't. It wasn't working. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's a little complicated, um, you know, because uh, the relationship was a little, little rocky because of the divorce and some and some the personal things he was dealing with. Um, but yeah, I think I think in the end, you're absolutely right. Just trying to make it work, it, it's it's simpler. And like, and we had during that conversation, ironically, we had. We connected on a level we never connected before, so things were were moving in the right direction at that point, and um, it it was just a lot easier and a lot happier if uh, if it, if I could just make it work. But obviously, we we know that doesn't doesn't work that way.